Okay. Now it works, and we can continue. Alright, 33%. Oh, now we're doing Quidditch training. I see. Okay. You can keep trying to beat the school record for the Herbology lesson race if you go through this door. Herbology lesson race. I'd rather not. I'm back. Oh, there you go. We. S I see you're back. The video already start. Yes, it did. You're not sharing your screen. Oh, I gotta share screen. Okay. So, all I know is that tomorrow the baby is coming home. Where was the baby at again? Uncle Wally's. Where else? <laughs> he was there when um, the camp was occurring. Oh. Not to mention, for the weekend, the baby's bringing a friend with him. What? I guess there's a dog that Uncle Wally's now taking care of. And that dog's coming over, too. So now you gotta take care of two babies? Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, all I know is that the second dog is a Maltese that, um, I know it's a girl. In fact, the first, in fact, I don't even need to say what the baby first tried to do. Oh, no. All I know is that afterward, the dog snapped at him and he got scared away and he never tried again. Hello again, Porter. I'm still trying to get into the Quidditch team. Maybe Sound like he learned his lesson. <laughs> yeah, and he never did it again, and apparently the two of them have warmed up to each other. Wow. So for the weekend, they're mine, except only really Saturday do I have them to myself. All right, Harry. Grab your broomstick and we'll begin the training. Because tomorrow and Welcome Friday, to my you sister's home, and then I'll set my mom and dad are returning so home tomorrow. Which is mm. why then my ma's going to where the camp to is Friday. Then my dad and my sister are going up Saturday morning. Oops. Uh, at least I'm done buying shit after my game store visits. Pretty much the only reason I went on the visits because I still have a free train pass. Oh, instead of flying through rings, we're flying through poles. What's the difference? The, the poles don't remind you of Superman 64. That's the difference. That's it, Harry. Unfortunately, it reminds me of We Fit, so We so Fit. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Which one? How We Fit? It's been a while since I played We Fit. It's one of the leaning games where you have to ski down a. Oh, slant. skiing! Oh. Yeah, that's a, that's a normal skiing event. Yes. Except you're kind of flying, but whatever. Or is it hovering in this case? Yeah. Oh, now we're flying through rings. Here we go. <laughs> oh, damn it. Superman 64. 
Oh no, apparently the logic of inverting your controls is that you have to fly a different room. Damn it! I don't <laughs> like inverting the controls. Love <laughs> Do you want to try them again? No. So hardy, it forced you? Select your brick. Yeah, you obviously I picked the later. first broom so because I don't like the, the second broom. Screen. You've completed basic Quidditch training and now can play in the Quidditch League. Now we can play in the Quidditch League. There we go. So literally, inverted is a different broom. Not stupid. Yeah, basically, the logic they use with inverting the controls is that you fly a different broom. It's going to slide in here. There, oh, now I can now actually we have to go see practice shit. Dueling. Oh, damn it. Practice, Don't tell practice. me we're gonna duel with brooms. No, we're not dueling with brooms. We're gonna be dueling with spells. On brooms? No. If we dueled on brooms, we probably would die. Oh. Wait, they say X button instead of cross button this time? They actually called the X button the cross button. Yeah, in the Sorcerer's Stone game, they called it cross. Oh, oh, we did dueling before. We're just fighting Ron. So, what console was more powerful during its time, N64 or PS1? It's weird, because the N64 had better graphical capabilities, but the PS1 could store more space. Like, it's weird, like, just some games were better suited on certain systems. I mean, well, actually, this game came out in 2002. The PS2, GameCube, and Xbox were already out. Wait, the N64 had better graphics? I think they did. Um, well, honestly, I think certain things look more clear than PS1, because I kind of noticed that some PS1 games, like Store It Little 2, or I think it's Store It Little 2, um, they fucking have graphics that are kind of pixely. Yeah, no, you gotta do it right, they were pixely. Oh, so I have to get up and close the mic, so... Pixely! Like that? She has to do a very raspy too. Pixely! That's, a, that's so, better, that's better. Sounds like I'm trying to say actually. Okay. Okay, but enough of the cringiness, though. Um, Seriously, fucking some PS1 games like Sir Little 2, like I said, yeah, have, like, I know that N64 kind of games pixel. tend to not look as pixelated. But at the same time, N64's textures are, well, they're, in, they're something. Well, yeah, N64 textures are a lot more simplistic, only because of the lack of space on the cartridges. In fact, that's why the... That's why probably one of the biggest technical achievements on the N64 was the port of Resident Evil 2. Yeah. Because they managed to compress a, a PS1 game that was on two discs into a single N64 cartridge that wasn't even expanded in space. Wow. And they, they used a shit ton of compression techniques. And... There was very few cuts, like, they actually kept in all the voice acting, most of the FNVs, even though they were heavily compressed. Though they did cut some, they did cut some FNVs, like, there was one FNV that had two different versions that just had a voice line swapped. They, so they used only one version in the N64 port. Also, there's only one credit song in the N64 version versus the two of the PS1 version. And the N64 version was also the only re-release of the game that didn't have the battle minigame. 
even though there were a lot of exclusive files that provided more background on the series, including hinting to the then unreleased Resident Evil Zero. Meanwhile, Ron has frickin'... What the hell? Why is he running away from us vomiting? Well, I know, well, it's because he cast his spell for Malfoy to eat slugs backfire, but why is he running away from us? Follow him, runs past him. Yeah, I did run past him, didn't I? And he keeps throwing up the sluggies. See, this is what happens when I don't pay attention. Wow. If what if I got in front of him and one of his slug vomit actually damaged me? <laughs> oh my god, and everything's slippery. <coughs> Oh, the bush, the prickly bushes. Look at that. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Whoa. Holy hell. Fucking, I saw that second after it happened. God damn. <laughs> Ron. Ronald, get back Wait here. a minute. Are those supposed to be, like, pictures of the actual actors' heads? I don't think so. Even though Harry's almost looks like it, even though it looks like they photoshopped Neville's face into his. <laughs> because the first three Harry Potter games, even though they incorporated a lot of stuff from the movies, at least in terms of look, they were more based on the books. Oh my god, the trees here look flat. Well, it's a PS1 cave, they're gonna look flat. Like their walls. Oh wait, hmm. I wonder what they're used for. Ow. Oh my fucking god, that looks like a fucking frustrating area. Oh what? my god, you were slipping and sliding on the fucking bridge. How? Because I guess the slimy slimy is all over the damn bridge. Oh my god, my fucking feet. Like, oh, sorry, Harry, but this slimy slime is forever stuck to your shoes. Now you gotta slip and slide everywhere. <laughs> Alright, at least we're at Hagrid's hut, finally. Why did the little dumbass run to Hagrid's? Isn't well, that because, well it's because he's was? vomiting slugs and Hagrid has the medicine to treat him, but why'd we have to chase after him? I, I mean, I guess to make sure he was okay, but... In the movie, he was so nauseous that he couldn't freaking move. He had to be helped to Hagrid's hut. He couldn't just run on his own. What? You have to fucking move the barrel or the ball or whatever the fuck oh, great. under. Oh my yeah, God. we gotta catch the slugs. What? The slugs How about look you so the much like, and we oh, we have to drain the slugs too. How about you tell the little fucker to fucking just hold still? Why not just puke in the barrel right there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What is... What the fuck? Stupid asshole. Oh my god. Hagrid, you're a piece of shit. Well, we had to turn this into a game somehow. <laughs> there. Four sluggies. Well done, Harry. That was a great effort. Yeah, oh, whatever, they're in a shut the fuck so up. Put in the barrel. Haggard, shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. yes. We have to let it run its course, you but you gotta that? do all the work. Alright, good luck. Oh, I never want to see another slug as long as I live. Next time don't make a mess on my floor, or otherwise if you damage anything, you'll pay for it. Uh-huh. Wait a freaking hell! In this ver in this universe, Hermione doesn't care about being called a mudblood. Because, 
Because in the movie, she made a freaking big deal about it. What is even mud blood? I Essentially, mud blood is slang for um wizards that have no parents that are wizards. Like essentially, like people like Malfoy, both their entire family is nothing but wizards. So as a result, they act like snobs to people who don't have a perfect family history like that. That sounds fucking stupid. I mean, it's accurate to other people acting like snobs for similar reasons, unfortunately. Then again, this universe is going to be destroyed by Shrek. Oh, so nothing matters? After this game, not really. <laughs> Wow. Though the uh, though the GameCube version does matter. Before this video reaches the twenty minute mark, I've also wanted to point out that as of this recording, fucking Skype has been recently really trying to push me to update. Like first, it started with the quote-unquote home thing, whatever that is on the old Skype, they replaced that with, oh, update Skype, update Skype. It works better when you update Skype, even though it really doesn't. And then fucking recently, they had a pop-up window saying the update is ready, it won't what take long. This be a really and I declined. I told them, no, I'm not updating, fuck you. But I know they're gonna force update me anyway, so whatever. I'll just keep it until they force me. Yeah, you stick with it till the end. I am! Because I don't want to use mobile Skype on desktop. If I wanted to do that, I would just get an Android emulator, and there you go. Is that Bob Ross on the left? Bob Ross? I don't know. Looks like Bob Ross on that fucking loading screen. I don't even know who Bob Ross is. You don't? No. And All oh. I know about him is that he's some painter that was really good, I guess. Oh. And meanwhile, he was we famous have another for some... freaking... Oh my god. Yo! Dude! Oh. oh, that table spins now? Okay. Because apparently it's a goddamn race to do goddamn freaking getting the class. Yeah, I'm sure you've known that feeling, right, Schnick? I mean, there were a couple of times when... I would be at school, and sometimes I would have to rush from one class to another if it, they were, like, very close. Hmm. Oh, what do you know? He didn't break his legs. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, damn it, he didn't break his legs. Oh, what do you know? Falling that short distance did the exact same amount of damage. What? Wow. Well, I guess if you fail one more time, you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. Oh that. my god! No! I just wanted to get to class. Why did they design this school like this? Whoa! Jesus Christ! Seriously? That's the fucking game over screen? Even the freaking game over screen from the from the Sorcerer's Stone was at least like hand drawn and had effort, I guess. Oh my god, this looks fucking weird looking. You should see some of the storybook cutscenes that use CG renders like this. This is honestly off putting to me. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to solve it next time. Eh. <laughs>